Good morning, all. Um, I know you guys enjoy seeing things, especially the Gun Blast um, fans enjoy seeing things about Jeff. And so I am standing in Jeff's original gun room when we built the house about 35 years ago. And um, it's about the size. I'm going to pan. I'm going to show y'all some pictures later. But um, it's just about the size of the first time I ever saw what was called a reloading room. We were dating, and we went down off of Dover Road somewhere because Jeff had saw an ad in the Peddler. And so I followed them down into the basement, dark, humid, and this young man opened up a door, and I could hear Jeff <gasps> kind of gasp, just in total awe. Me? I was kind of afraid because I'd never seen any kind of a setup like that before. I mean, there were these big machines kind of like, well, they were bigger than this, you know. And the guy was showing Jeff how to do these levers and things were kicking out. Look at that. And so <laughs> it was kind of scary to me. But Jeff left that night with his first Dillon press, if that would call it. So, um, but anyway, but as time went on and Jeff became more involved with Gun Blast and quit his original window job, he was um, doing window replacement, he was a glazer, and took on Gun Blast full time. Um, he enjoyed the fruits of his labor. He would take some of his pay and invest that back into some things. But he had quite, quite a huge um, inventory before Gun Blast even started. So, he outgrew this one. Let's go see his other one. Let's go see his other gun room or gun vault. before we go into the vault. I mean, we have a full-size basement and it was kept, um, you know, he didn't keep his ammo in there. So, you know, we have, let me see, lots of ammo, lots of it. About four years ago, Jeff added on to our house because he needed um, a more a safer place in order to store his inventory. And so he added on, I can't even give you the logistics on this thing, how thick the walls are and the reinforced ceiling and you saw the um, official bank safe door to be able to get in here. And so I am sitting here amongst Jeff's lifelong collection of firearms. And, you know, I can honestly say, I'm gonna get pan here in a second to show these to you. Um, I, yeah, he enjoyed every single time he picked up one of these. And he could give you the history on it, and oh my gosh, if he picked it up at uh, one of the gun shows, or most exclusively at the Tulsa gun show, um, there was always a backstory to that, and oh, how he loved to barter. You know, he would go in carrying a gun or a rifle or something with every intentions of selling that thing, 
but he would act like he wasn't going to sell it. So, you know, he would have the stories of all the people that he talked to about that. Or, you know, if, I mean, if he really got a great deal, that was even more exciting for him. Um, you know, he didn't ever try to underscore anybody or, or kind of jip anybody on that. But if he, um, there was a, a person who had an asking price and it was way below what he thought it was worth and everything. He jumped on that and that was exciting, but he was very fair and paid the um, price up front exactly what those people wanted. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm going to pan around here. Okay, I am standing in front of the wall that he just really enjoyed. I mean, whenever he came down here, he would just stop in front right here in front of his lever actions. And he just had a story behind every single one of those. I mean, and there was a couple that was more important to him or, you know, meant something more to him than the others. But as far as lever actions go, he, he loved them. He loved them. So I'm going to pan here and let's just see what they got. Okay, now I am standing in front of uh, his rifles, and some of these are mine, and some of those, are, some are Ethan's, um, but not as many as Jeff's. So here we go. Let's take a look at those. Alrighty, and for all of you folks wondering if these are just empty boxes laying around, they are not. They are all full. Those over there. Those over there. Those over there. So, anyway, let's go see what we got on the back wall. Oh. Almost forgot about these. Not quite sure. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what we got. Um, I don't know. Alrighty. On this back wall, we have shotguns. And I think most of them are shotguns. But, you know, I would love to say that I had even a 1% of the knowledge about firearms that Jeff Quinn had, or anybody has, really. But I don't. <laughs> Not at all. And contrary to belief, just living with Jeff Quinn did not give me the knowledge by osmosis, sleeping with him every night. We did not transfer that knowledge to me. Mm -mm. So, here we got on the back wall. I think they're shotguns. I don't know what they are. Here, but you look. All you fans, oogle and figure it out for yourself. Alrighty, whoops, I almost forgot about the ones underneath the bear. 
So uh, let's look at this little half a wall and see what we got on here. Let's flip this, hold on. Well, I know some of y'all are sitting there thinking, what in the world is she doing videoing and putting out here publicly what is in her home? And, um, you know, that might entice somebody to come. But I wanted to share with you that Jeff was very clear in his directives of what he wanted done with his collection of firearms. And so by this evening, Jeff's collection in here these walls will be empty. This entire collection, including all ammunition, uh, just everything, has been sold and is being picked up today. I know a lot of you, a lot of people have reached out, messaged me, texted me, um, asking, you know, what they could do or to let them know um, how they could um, acquire one of Jeff's firearms. And I'm telling you, there's a huge spectrum here, you know, all the way from the very rare and expensive to, you know, just some less expensive that he had a lot of fun with, um, just plinking around with and messing with. Um, so I don't think there's any, there's not a firearm in here that he did not enjoy picking up and playing around with. Um, some a little more than others, so uh, I'll be able to let you know um, in the near future if this person decides to put what and any of this to put it up out for public to be able to for the public to be able to purchase any of these items. But I'm um, again following through with Jeff's directives exactly like he asked, and being the good wife that I am, I am doing that. Uh, it's going to be a little bare down here. Um, I don't mind telling you the days I've been a little sad. You know, even yesterday, just thinking about this. A little hard on me. A little difficult for the kids. But we all have to remember, you know, it's not, the memories aren't, and someone is not based on the material items that they've acquired in their lifetime. That's just a part of who they are. And I think the kids are learning that. And I'll come to terms with that too. So, just wanted to keep y'all aware because y'all are such great supporters of Jeff and his projects and his lifelong love to the firearms and getting that information out to the public. And um, I know that y'all felt, a lot of y'all felt like Jeff was kind of family, maybe a family member you hadn't met yet, but uh, so I just wanted to keep all of you guys informed. And should uh, any of these things go up for public sale, I'll let you know when and where that can happen. Thanks, everybody.